Good morning, my name is Randy Barr. I'm the Director of Sales at AEV, American Emergency Vehicles. Uh, we're here at FDIC 2022, Indiana Convention Center in Indianapolis. Uh, we have a beautiful unit here we want to talk about a little bit and uh, want to take, take you on a little bit of tour. This first compartment is an M5 compartment. It's designed for a couple of oxygen tanks. Being a critical care transport, they need more volume on their oxygen systems as well as air systems for those long distance transports. This is also designed to carry a backboard, which will, will slide into the bracket on the door with a strap that keep it tight. This is our Infinity Edge uh, body panel windows. As you can see, they're, they're uh, recessed flush into the body, which makes a lot cleaner look. You don't have the flange around the window. Uh, one thing about this truck too, it has our shaded window option. The neat thing about the shaded window option we have is this is always shaded at all times. If you want to look outside of a window in this truck, rear door, side door, either one, you actually turn power onto it and it'll unshade the window to give you that vision. A neat feature about this window from AEV is actually a panel that's installed into the window itself. If uh, for some reason there was a failure or something happened, they need to replace this, they could do that without taking the window out of the truck. So the truck would stay in service, replace the panel, and just and keep going. Inside outside access into the ALS cabinet. This truck has dual batteries in the drawer here. It also has dual batteries under the hood. The purpose of the extra batteries on this truck is because it is a critical care truck. So we have a battery dedicated to the generator. We also have a battery dedicated to emergency start. They're sitting at a hospital, they leave, forget to turn all the equipment off, leave something on, runs the batteries dead flip a switch, it'll go to an auxiliary battery, they can start the truck up and everything charges back up. This is a Ford F550 chassis diesel engine. The body on this truck is a 174 by a 96 wide body, has a 74 inch interior headroom, which is a larger body than most common ambulances. But again, being critical care, they have that need for that extra space. As you can see, this is a fully loaded LED setup for the lighting systems. Uh, Multicolor, red, blue, some clear. The state that this is going into it does require the blue lights. It does have a sophisticated condenser system on the front of the truck for the AC system. It actually gives you more efficiency inside the truck. Our what we call M2 compartment is designed to hold the electrical items. Uh, we also have a custom bracket on the door for a stair chair. In a lot of cases with critical care transports, they don't need a backboard, they don't need a stair chair, but a lot of states require that to be carried on the ambulance whether they need or not to get their license. In. We have a custom M1A compartment up high. What we do with that, it allows us to put some electrical equipment in that compartment that's not used every day that frees up the space in here. So the height of that compartment is really not accessible from standing on the ground, so we separate that out, put the electrical up there. Then if it needs to be worked on, it can be worked on at a shop, somebody can get up there. It's not something they have to access every day, so it frees up more space in here for their equipment and their storage. One thing very unique to this truck is the uh, generator. So being a critical care transport truck, this has a 7KW generator. Again, diesel engine, diesel generator. This will be tied to the fuel tank, so the fuel will be coming to the generator directly from the tank. The way this is set up is if there's a failure going down the road, the engine fails, there's an accident, they can't operate the truck, they got a critical care patient on board, they can transfer all the power over to this generator, and that generator will power the air conditioning, it will power the outlets that have the uh, medical equipment plugged into them. It'll keep that truck going, you know, as long as it takes to get another ambulance there to take over the scene and, and transfer the patient. As you can see on the rear of the truck, we do have a traffic advisor that will allow the people behind the vehicle to know which way they're going, turning left, turning right. Backup camera, it does have a turn signal cameras on the mirrors on the front of the truck, so when you turn signal on, it will automatically transfer over to that picture to show them if there's any blind spots beside them with traffic coming in. This is what we call our X-Series model. It is an aluminum cabinet truck. It does have some special features. One is neural diamond plate on all the stepping surfaces. If you look at the diamond plate, it's all neuraled. It's got a non-skid uh, grooves cut into the diamond plate itself. Uh, again, just for safety. That's on the running boards, that's on the bumper, anywhere that you be stepping, even into the side of the truck on the step well. But like you see, this is a critical care transport, so it doesn't have a traditional squad bench. It does have uh, multiple captain's chairs throughout the truck, you know, and, and that obviously is for long distance transports, the comfort of the crews. This truck does have REVS exclusive Performax seatbelt system, so all, all seating positions. And as you'll see, it has the airbag roll tech system, which is new to AEV. And this truck is not set up in here as a function system, it was set up as a prototype just to show for this show. That is a feature that will be available on the AVs going forward. Now looking into the ceiling, all the rails that we have, the handrails going in, even all the cabinets on the inside, they're all powder coated or antimicrobial to help kill the germs. We do have our recessed grab rails in the ceiling, a feature that comes with the AV truck along with the reducted AC down there. This truck also has a light rail system so they don't have the traditional dome lights on each side of the center pad. And there's been a lot of studies on this rail itself. Again, it's an exclusive AV product with the shadow and stuff like that, you're trying to start IVs in, the, in your arm. It gives you a lot more light and a lot clearer light, a picture of what you're doing. Another feature in this truck, as you can see, is a full striker power load system. Again, a feature that's very safe for the uh, end user, loading patients in and out of the truck. And especially on critical care transport, you know, some of the equipment they'll have mounted onto their stretchers, 
you know, obviously very expensive, but very heavy equipment that uh, this makes it a lot safer for that uh, loading system. You can see we have solid surface countertops, both sides of the truck. We use a brand called Wilson Art, multiple colors available as the customer chooses, multiple drawers throughout the truck storage. This actually has an IV warmer inside, lay their IV bags on top, it'll keep the IV fluid warm. By waste that's hidden, you know, it's, it's out of the way, it's clean. Multiple drawers throughout the truck for different equipment. Windows itself have all the new secure latch windows, latching mechanisms as the windows slide open and shut. They also have a restocking feature, so gives you full access inside the truck. As we talked about before, all the cabinets on the inside are aluminum, and they are all antimicrobial powder coated aluminum cabinets. Yeah, and throughout the truck too, you'll see multiple oxygen and air outlets at the rear of the truck, throughout the ceiling panels, in the, in the actionary panels, different locations for different uh, customer needs. The uh, air conditioner itself, we have two, uh, several air conditioning features in this truck. One being, you can't see on the camera, but a 110 heater back here in the back facing forward, and that's operated through the shoreline. And then our actual AC unit, is a HEPA max system, so it has a HEPA filter and system into it. It also has a 110 side, so it's 12 volt 110 AC, you know, 12 volt going down the road, it'll transfer to a 110 AC when that generator does transfer power if needed. Multiple switch panels throughout the truck, again, for different seating locations, uh, control any function from either side of the truck, so no matter what the need is, where the crews are sitting, where, wherever they're at, they'll be able to control the, the, the functions inside the truck. We've enjoyed this show this year at FDIC 2022. Uh, we do uh, look forward to seeing all you guys in Orlando at the MS World Show in October of 2022 as well. 